right. I've been posting a couple of videos concerned uh, with the LPSolve package, which is a package available in R4 modeling and solving linear problems. Um, LPSolve contains functionality which is coded in C, so it really is an efficient and very powerful solver which you have access to in R through this package. Um, LPSolve um, provides a general function for modeling linear problems um, can be used for both continuous and integer problems but the package also contains some um, dedicated functions for some traditional linear programming problems or examples. One traditional problem is the transportation problem um, which I illustrated in a or demonstrated in a previous video. Um, so for this you can use the lp.transport function. Um, another function is the lp.assign function and this is the function I want to talk about in this video. This is a function dedicated for modeling um, the assignment problem which is another traditional linear programming problem and example. Um, known in operations research. And um, I provide here a very simple example of what this assignment problem might look like. Um, you can think about it as a problem in which we need to, in this case, schedule three manufacturing jobs to three production machines. We need to assign every job and we need to use every machine since one machine cannot use two jobs or cannot um, fulfill two jobs. We only have one shift and um, therefore we really need to assign one job to only one machine. So this is a classical type of assignment constraint uh, or constraint and basically this is what um, in the mathematical formulation of this problem you will find in the constraint section. You can also see that um, this is a integer problem um, and uh, the variables um, that I provided here in this mathematical model or mathematical explanation are then integer variables um, and they are non-negative. So the non-negativity constraint is also applies. Um, it means we really here, um, if we look at the constraint values, um, are dealing with binary, um, a, a binary problem. So the question is, uh, and this is what those variables express, um, are we assigning job one to machine one, or are we assigning job one to machine two, or are we assigning job one to machine three, and um, so forth for the second and third job. Um, up here you see a linear objective function which we try to minimize. You could think about this as, for example, the variable transportation costs. So job one might um, create one US dollar of production costs. Um, on machine one, but uh, two dollars if we produce it on machine two. Um, job two uh, might create two dollars of production cost if we produce it on machine one, but three dollars if we produce it on machine two, and so on. So we might ha have different types of variable transportation costs depending which machine we produce our job on, um, and at the same time we need to assign one job to one machine. And um, yeah, this is a classical type or classical formulation um, of, a, uh, of an assignment problem. And in the LPSolve package, um, which I told is a linear programming package um, available in R, you have access to the LPAssign function, which is really meant for modeling this kind of problem. And it will, by default, consider the integer constraint and uh, the constraint that um, that um, our constraint values are um, one and that our constraints are equal to constraints. Um, so we 
don't need to tell the function anything about this. It will consider this by default. Um, we just need to tell the function whether we are dealing with a minimization, in this case it is a minimization problem, or with a maximization problem. Um, and if you look here um, at the application of the function, um, you see that there is the parameter direction. And um, I have to indicate to it whether it's a min or max problem. In this case, it's a min problem. So I'm mapping to this parameter the string min. And the second and first parameter that we need to um, apply and, and to which we need to um, map information is the cost matrix. And this is really just in matrix form the coefficients of this linear objective function. So you can see here, um, this is like the first row is for x1, um, so this would be this section of the uh, linear objective function, and then uh, the second row and, and this matrix would be this section of the linear objective function, and um, the last row would be this section of the linear, optimus, uh, of the linear objective function. So this is all the information we need to um, provide to the LPS sign function. Um, and by default, it will consider the structure of the constraint to be as uh, shown here. So it will basically treat it as if it was a binary problem and it will consider non-negativity and um, the integer constraint. The LP assigned function will return an LP solve object, which is on the one hand the model itself um, containing information about the model, um, and, at the, uh, and at, at the same time, it's also the solution to the problem. So I can print the solution um, of this LP solve object, and it will provide me the optimal objective function value, in this case, 5. And I can also explicitly um, access the the uh, solution to this problem which in this case is a matrix indicating to me that um, in this case job one should be produced in machine one job three should be produced in a machine two and job two should be produced on machine three <coughs> 